Hey, Batty and Business family, my name is Isabella. I am the owner of two six-figure earning online businesses. So today I'm gonna walk you through how I use the power of social media and how I film, edit, and post my content. I have been so blessed these past few years to have the ability to have been able to build so much wealth. And I really attribute that success to my content creation. All of my income streams would not be possible without the power of social media. I will never forget when I had one viral social media post and I woke up with thousands of dollars in my account. In this video, not only am I gonna show you how I create viral content for my business, but I'm also going to be sharing with you guys how you can use AI technology to help create your content for you as well. We live in a time now where it has never been a better time to start content creation that small business owners can especially take advantage of. The AI technology that I found that will help you create your content is one of the coolest things that I've probably ever found for small business content. So make sure you watch all the way till the end of this video so you do not miss that tutorial. And of course, everything that I'm gonna be showing you in this video is free to use. I'm not gonna suggest like you buy this program or anything like that. I, You guys already know I try to always introduce free methods to you guys because when I first started, I did not have money to blow or to spare. Social media can be life-changing basically overnight and it has never been a better time to start. I consistently see businesses blowing up overnight on TikTok and on Instagram. So don't think you are too late to the game or else you'll never start. Even back when I restarted my online business journey in 2020, I thought I was too late to the game. And if I would have had that mindset back then, I would have never been where I am now. If you are unfamiliar with my YouTube channel, I am dedicated to being that one and all YouTube channel for you. People charge thousands of dollars for the free courses and education that I give you guys 100% free. All I ask in return is just hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to create free courses and videos just like this. Remember, if you have any questions throughout the video, feel free to leave a comment down below and I do try to make an effort to respond to all my YouTube comments. Now you probably thought you needed to have all this expensive equipment in order to be a content creator. That is actually not true. I personally film, edit, and post all of my content just from my iPhone. And when I started my journey back in 2020, I was a full-time college student and working a regular job. So if I had time to do this and build these businesses up when I was super busy on a super busy schedule, you guys can do this 100% no matter what situation you are in. I personally always prioritize quality over quantity. You can post a bunch of random posts all day long, but none of them will go viral. I teach you how to apply the skills and the techniques to go viral so you don't have to be posting three times a day. I personally grew one of my accounts to over 6 million followers posting one to two times a week, and I grew my other account to 900,000 followers posting one to two times a week as well. And I started both of these accounts from scratch, from zero followers. And you're probably thinking, well, followers don't equal to sales. That's true, but every single time I have had a viral TikTok or a viral Instagram reel, I made thousands of dollars in sales. My method of advertising my store this way is that I'm consistently building a community around my business. If you are someone that you're just paying for advertisements and you're just paying other people to create content for you, etc., you are really not taking control over your own business and nobody can do it like you can do it. I didn't have any skills. I didn't know how to edit videos. I didn't know how to film videos, but I learned. And that's exactly why you are here and I cannot wait for you guys to learn as well. I focus on two social media platforms and that is TikTok and Instagram. I believe TikTok is what sets the trends for all the other social media sites. I personally have found the most success in creating video content. We live in a time where video content is just what's going to grow your business more than any other thing. You can sit there and take a bunch of pictures and they can be the most beautiful picture, but if you are not telling a story or if you are not taking your product and showing, you know, why someone should buy this product in a video format, it will not have the same effect. Video content is the way to go. And as long as you have a phone in your hand, you can make this content. I actually feel like videos created on iPhones are way better than videos even created with my camera 
when it comes to posting across TikTok or Instagram. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about the quality. I don't know if people are just familiar with the iPhone quality and that's why it appeals to users, but that's just what I personally find my success in. When I film my videos, I always film it where the light is hitting the most. And you guys probably remember in my original video, I always sh do my videos around like the sunset hour. Or if it's too dark in your house, you guys, just go outside and you will have amazing lighting outside that will look great as well. I actually do some of my videos outside. When I'm lining up my products, whenever I'm holding anything, I always have this perspective. You guys can kind of see, I have um, my camera set on 4K 60, and then I always use the 1X. Sometimes if you do it in 0.5, this can be good for outdoor perspectives if you have it up close. But for some reason, the 0.5 and lower lighting just doesn't do as much of a good um, difference for me. So I always put it better in this one. It just looks better for products. Now, another thing that I always do is like whenever I'm holding a product, you know, always just like make sure you're kind of moving around enough, but just make sure that you're close enough to where it's um, a little bit clear in the front and it's a little bit blurred out in the back. That will help you a lot. And like you can take videos just like this and then you can use these videos in so many different ways. So basically you can just recycle the same videos to get the same content. Don't worry about it being the perfect amount of seconds because this is just the video that we're gonna use to edit in the next step. I set up my shelves like this for my inventory-based e-commerce store so I could show my products and do videos in front of this. It just looks more official like an actual little store. I do also have this rain light, but this is totally optional. I feel like sunlight is better than rain light lighting anyways. So in this situation, since the lighting is coming into the room this way, I am using a rain light just to get more lighting for our video here. I made a video that got over 10 million views and it was the most simple video ever. And it was actually a video that I took like months in advance that I just recycled for this video. So I will show you what that video is right here. $95 for a lip gloss is not that expensive. If you're broke, just say that. My lip glosses are handmade and it takes me hours to produce them. And that video, as stupid as it is, you know, you're probably thinking like, there's no way you're making money from this. That video literally made me thousands of dollars consistently for over one year. And I never paid to promote it. I never like, you know, paid for promotion. It was just a little video that I made right here in this room in less than 10 minutes, just by using the power of TikTok. I, from that one video made so much money and this is what I teach you guys on my YouTube channel how to do. So I'm so happy and I'm so glad. I hope you guys are learning tons. So my favorite free editing software that I use is called CapCut. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you can use this app right now. So when you open and download CapCut, this is what you're going to see on the screen. Now they also have a new tool that I found called Ad Script by AI. So just click on this expand button to click on add script. Now we're gonna put in what we want to promote with this video. So I'm gonna type in one step hair extensions and I'm gonna describe the product. Easy way to wear hair extensions. Even give you, like I don't even know how this AI system does this, this is so amazing. They even give you things that you could even put, like how do they know hair extensions with these? It's crazy. So I'm gonna click, um, I'm actually gonna just click the ones they suggested because I think it's just gonna work better that way. So just click install in one step, quick, easy. So then I'm just gonna click generate. Few seconds, it literally has a script that you can use for your social media content. So I love this script that they picked out. We're gonna click use this script. And again, this is super fast, just goes right through this. Now it's gonna bring you to this video editing screen. So what you're gonna do is just click on that little plus button on the right hand, and I'm just gonna import some videos that I wanna use to promote this hair. Think of it like this, like you're filming the videos separately and you're uploading them to this video editing software. I'm not filming in the TikTok app, I'm not filming an Instagram app, I'm filming through my phone, on my phone, and then I'm just uploading it to the video editing app. And I love CapCut because I'm able to post directly to TikTok from the CapCut app, so that's personally what I always do. So now that the videos are uploaded in this section, now you can see, and I'm just gonna play it so you guys can hear it too. 
Are you tired of spending hours getting ready in the morning, only to have your hair looking crazy by the end of the day? Say hello to One Step Hair Ex- So I'm obviously gonna just like cut this part out. So I always try to keep my videos between 10 to 15 seconds. I don't know what it is, but whenever I have them any longer than that, they just don't do good. So I'm gonna um, cut it like right here and I'm just gonna ta you just tap on the video and then just click split. Then you guys can see like where you can drag it one way or the other. So now I'm just gonna drag it and I'm just gonna cut out this part because like I wasn't really ready. Um, so let's just click. Today, through. say hello to One Step Hair Extensions, the easiest way to add length and thickness to your hair in just one step. That looks so professional. I can't with AI, like this is amazing. So now we are at 15 seconds. So we could let this keep going because this script is amazing, but you guys know how I do my content. Short, simple, straight to the point. That's why I get viral content on TikTok. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm just gonna tap the video again, or we already tapped it, so I'm just gonna, you know, delete that part. And then let me just scroll this way. So we're gonna actually get rid of all the other text-to-speech options. So I'm gonna do that and just click delete on what you wanna delete and it will delete everything um, that you don't want. So just delete all the stuff that we don't need because we're just keeping this short and simple. But if you wanted to do like one long introduction video in the beginning, that's totally fine. And like some people have really good, um, they have really good um, results with having longer videos. It's just me personally, I haven't found my success the way and I teach you guys how I find my success. All right, let's look at this video again. I always rewatch the video as I'm editing it so I can see like what it's missing, what it needs. So click play. Are you tired of spending hours getting ready in the morning only to have your hair looking crazy by the end of the day? Say hello to One Step Hair Extensions, the easiest way to add length and thickness to your hair in just one step. I love Are you this. Okay, so I wanna see if there's actually, um, so if you wanna change this voice, so say you don't like the guy's voice, maybe you want a girl voice, just click on the text-to-speech option and click select voice. It's gonna give you a bunch of different ones. And I'm gonna actually click Jesse. I like Jesse because it sounds most like the one on TikTok and I just like to do what I feel like is already familiar to users on TikTok. Are you tired of spending hours getting ready in the morning? Now, another thing that if you guys know me, this is one thing that I always point out to you guys too. So do you guys see how on the bottom of the screen, that's where they put the words, right? So I know that they do that. So as you're editing it, you know, you have, you know, you can see the video while you're editing it. I, I get why they put it there, but we are going to move it up because on TikTok, it will cover it up. Like your caption of your video will cover that up. So always put your text right in the center of the screen. I don't know why, but I just always have the best results that way. Are so you tired? And what I love about CapCut is if you edit one thing with the text, it edits the rest of it for you. So everything, you don't have to go like each one and keep dragging it up. That's why I love CapCut. Um, another thing is, is I'm just gonna double click it and I'm gonna click on edit right here. And because we are putting this on TikTok, I like to use the font Remember what I said, I like to use the fonts that are popular on TikTok because that's just what people I feel like are used to seeing on TikTok. And that's just what always does well for me. So I'm gonna look for um, just like a pretty basic text to use. So I'm just gonna click on system and I'm gonna go to style and I'm gonna click, I always use this, the same thing in all my videos. So I'm using the white with the black border. I just love simplistic. Like if you try to do like, stickers on the screen and like all these other things or like all these other um on the screen things it just takes attention away from like what you're trying to promote so i don't personally recommend doing any of that um i also i use these on my youtube video edits but as far as tiktok goes i just like to keep things pretty simple it really just depends on what you want so just click on the the check button and like i said I are you tired it. of spending hours getting ready in the morning only to have your hair looking crazy by the end of the day. So, so you do have to change it for each text. Sorry, guys, I forgot to tell you that. You do have to change it for each um, text that you do. Or, I mean, you could do different voices, but I would just stick to one voice. I like Jesse because that's the voice that... Or if you guys watch my other videos, like, you guys know I always try to use my own voice because um, I like to use my own voice because I feel like that's what can build trust with customers and it's what makes you unique. But just for the purpose of this video, I understand if you don't want to use your voice, and that's totally fine. So in this tutorial today, I'm just going to use the text-to-speech, which I have done. Add thickness to your hair. There have.
has been times where I've done text-to-speech and those videos went so viral so I actually do a little bit of both. So let's watch it again. Are you tired of spending hours getting ready in the morning? Only to have your hair looking crazy by the end of the day. Say hello to One Step Hair Extensions, the easiest way to add length and thickness to your hair and just... Now see how there was a pause there? We're going to just move those up. Like, I don't want... In your videos, I don't want no pauses. Because people are scrolling on TikTok. You want to create videos that captivate your audience and bring them in and keep them on your video to watch it all the way through. And, you know, even create things that will make people want to share it. Let's just make sure that's... Smooth. Way to add length and thickness to your hair in just one step. Okay, now I'm just going to, you know, delete that. But, like, imagine if you had no business experience, right? This AI literally gives you, in seconds, an amazing script to use for your business videos. So once you're done with your video, then go ahead and just click export. It's on the top right up here. You can post it straight onto TikTok from here. If you are someone that's actively buying ads on TikTok, you can actually sync this straight into your TikTok ads manager. But me personally, I have become successful with just straight TikTok organic ads so when you're done just click share to tiktok and this looks so good i am so impressed by the way this came out and this was so fast too so now we're going to go ahead and just click next and one and one thing that i would have done guys before is color grade this now i don't really find a good way to do that with tiktok because the only thing that i can really do on tiktok is add filters i never add filters to my videos i feel like it just makes them look like odd so i don't do that um, but you can, you know, if you want to, you, you can try out. I always keep it on normal for me personally. I personally like to color grade my videos before. So how I do that is I actually just do that straight from my phone. If you just go to the video itself, just click edit. Then just click this little icon down here. And I just turn up the exposure like this, just swiping it. I always go to brightness. I turn up the brightness and I always go to saturation just to give it some color now look at the difference do you guys see how much brighter this looks in comparison to this one so like this was the one that we had before this is the one after i color graded it so don't forget to do that before you start editing i always color grade first but i just wanted i didn't color grade any of them yet because i wanted to show you guys in this tutorial okay so now we're going to get to posting i'm going to show you exactly how i post on tiktok and what hashtags do I use? Like, how do you even post on TikTok, right? And I'm gonna, sh I'm also gonna share with you things not to do when you're posting on TikTok because I have seen a lot of people making lots of mistakes when they're posting on TikTok as well. So I hope this helps. So first thing I do is I just remove any hashtag that got put on because I just want a clean slate here. So I'm gonna start typing, and I'm just gonna say, um, I'll just say like maybe just something about the product so this can also you know end up on TikTok search engine and things like that so um, I'm gonna put the one step hair extensions extensions you need okay and then we're gonna just put some and then we're gonna just put some stars I always put emojis after because I just feel like it looks good and we can then put the hashtags so remember guys i get that you're a small business do not use the small business hashtag use hashtags they're going to put you in the right audience so hair hacks hair extensions i want you guys to use things that are going to be for your audience and if you don't know you can look at shops that are in your niche to get an idea of this um hair tutorial see how i'm just like finding like i'm just typing in hair and like different things are coming up that i'm using hair transformation there you go see how i just found four hashtags just by doing that so um i usually put three to four hashtags per post after that then i click on select cover and i just make sure that i just pick the best cover that i can get okay we'll click save after that just click on post and we did it in less than 10 minutes we created a video an advertisement that you can use on your tiktok page now you're probably wondering how do i get that tiktok now to instagram so what i do is i create content for tiktok and i disperse the content to the other social media platforms so you're probably wondering okay like how can i even save my tiktok without the watermark let me show you right now so let's go to the tiktok that we just made we're going to click on the three dots down here and click copy link 
Then you're going to go to this website. This is just the one I personally use. It's called tickmate.app. And you just post the link here, paste, I click download. And then I always just click save video HD. Just X out of any advertisement that pops up. It's just wanting you need to download stuff. You don't need to do any of that. And then just click download when that appears. It will show up in your download section. Then you can just click on it. Click on this little thingy down here and then click save video. So when you go to post on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, wherever you would like to promote this video, most of my sales come from one, TikTok, and two, Instagram Reels. That's just what I focus on and that's just what I find the most success with. I do use Pinterest too, but I just haven't really popped off on Pinterest yet the same way that I've popped up on Instagram and TikTok. So on Instagram, when I go to repost that reel, because that's what you're posting it as, as a reel on Instagram, I use the same caption that I used on the TikTok, but on Instagram, you're allowed up to, I believe it's 25 hashtags. I'll put it on the screen the exact amount of hashtags that you are allowed to have. So I use as many hashtags as I possibly can that Instagram allows, and then I post it. So it allows you to use more hashtags, so I always do. Now, Instagram Reels is like TikTok. It might not blow up right away, but you know, months down the line, or even days or months down the line, it can blow up. So definitely repurpose your content from TikTok to Instagram Reels. CapCut is my number one favorite video editing app, and it just has so many more features than any other app that I've used for video editing. I wanna show you this feature that I've been loving lately. Go ahead and just click on this button on the upper right hand side called Ad Maker. You guys can see they have so many amazing templates that you guys can use for your small business. They even have green screen ad storyboards as well that you can actually use these in order to create successful advertisements for your small businesses or any offer that you use on and that you're promoting on social media. I love how they have everything organized like this one would be for fashion clothing. And down here we have one for beauty and personal care. So it's just like the aesthetic is just more geared towards that kind of theme. They even have an area showing you the more successful videos that users have done. So not only can small businesses use this, but influencers can honestly use this as well. So you guys saw the video that I just used for that video, right? I'm going to just keep recycling that same series of videos, but putting different shock factors into it. When it comes to shock factor, this can make or break your content. As I'm creating my content and my TikToks, I always think about, okay, what's gonna create the most buzz? Like, what's gonna make people comment and be like, what the heck is going on here? Or confused or wanna send it to a friend? These kinds of things and like the psychology that you're thinking of as you're creating your content will help you to create better videos. I basically teach you guys how to use TikTok as a funnel. So if you can master content creation and making videos, just like the one I showed you how to do today, and always pivoting and trying different things, you can 100% do it. And I am no special than anyone else. Like I said, all of these skills I learned how to do. I didn't know how to do any of this, but it has never been easier to start an online business and to start making money online. And if you think that you have to show your face to make content or to be a content creator, that is absolutely not true. My original business that I started back in 2020 did not include my face. I focused more on the products. And trust me, I know as a beginner in content creation and starting any social media account, it can be very intimidating, especially when you're posting videos and you're just not getting views. That's gonna happen in the beginning. My first month when I started my online store, I literally made nothing. Like I said, I made nothing and I almost gave up completely. Like I felt so stupid, like why am I even doing this? Like my videos aren't going viral. But that's why you guys need to realize when to pivot as an entrepreneur. And this goes like across the board. Like I feel like I've had to make a lot of um, changes in the way that I do things in order to actually see the success in what I'm doing. And everyone is different as well. Just because I saw success with the types of businesses that I started doesn't mean that everybody can start those same exact businesses and become successful and to help you figure out what really is what is meant for you in life. So if you see that the content that you're creating is just not doing well, you know, after weeks and weeks of posting, that's when you have to think to yourself, okay, obviously I'm not doing something right. Let me see what I need to change. And I'm telling you, it could be as simple as maybe you're putting the wrong keywords in your captions. So here is what not to write in your captions when you're posting your TikToks. Number one, never try to include a link in your caption on TikTok. 
Number two, never put link in bio. Don't say link. I wouldn't even say shop. I feel like any keyword of those types will be blocked with the TikTok algorithm. Um, any other thing like, you know, shop now or sale, like whenever I say sale, my video gets, I swear, like it gets blocked. So I would stay away from these keywords when you are posting on TikTok in the captions. If you want to write it in the comments, that's fine. I write, you know, different things in the comment section, but as far as the captions, I would refrain from putting anything of that sort in the captions. Now, like I said, refrain from putting link on the bio on the screen because TikTok does not like that. But you can say, you know, we have them out now. There's ways to say things without them sounding like too much like an advertisement. People don't like to just be pitched to or to feel like, you know, they're being hoaxed into something. You have to make people feel like they need that product or that they want that. It's going to make them happy. You have to think like, okay, what's going to make people want to buy from you? So these are all just kinds of thoughts that go in my through my head when I'm creating content. If you ever need inspiration, you can always search whatever popular stores in the niche that you're getting into and you can get inspiration that way. If you're using the storytelling way of creating content, just always think of it like this. The first few seconds is what's going to draw the attention of the viewer. Middle part of the video is what's going to just keep the viewer there. So, you know, you're just like talking about the product now that you have their attention. Now you're talking about the product and towards the end of the video, that's when you start to need to focus on the call to action. Where do you want those viewers to go from here? Now, as a newbie, as a beginner, you'll notice that on TikTok, you can't put a link in your bio right away. That's fine. Once you hit a thousand followers, you will be able to put a link in your bio. And I have grown 40,000 followers overnight before. So as long as your content is on point, you will gain an audience, but you have to focus on your content creation. After you hit a thousand followers, you can put a link in your bio. In the meantime, you can just funnel people to your Instagram and that in your Instagram will have a link right in the bio. All you need is that one viral TikTok, and it can really be life changing. Not only because you can make a lot of money, but you start to see that by creating TikToks and creating good content, just by using these editing techniques that I show you today, this can literally change your perspective of how you know you can start making money and using the power of social media to get to where you want to be in life. I always say we are the most blessed generation because we have access to all of this knowledge, to all of these things that generations before us never had. So take advantage of that. I personally learned everything that I know today from watching YouTube videos and trying things myself. That's why I love to contribute back into the educational space of YouTube. Taking action is the most important thing and practicing these techniques that I taught you in this video is what you are going to need to focus on in order to build your business. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you learned lots from this tutorial. If you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my YouTube channel so we can continue to grow the batting business community. Remember that I have an entire playlist of 100% free courses on my YouTube channel that are dedicated to helping you make more money online. Hope you learned lots from this YouTube video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye everyone.